Hey loves, welcome back. So today I'm here with this affordable green smoky eye. It's also very wearable because the green isn't super intense, but you can still see the pop of color. This is using all drugstore products and affordable slash drugstore brushes as well for the eyes and the face. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and if you wanna know how I get it, then let's get started. So my eyebrows are already done. I used the Salon Perfect Brow Pomade from Walmart in the shade Light Brown and I also did prime my lids and apply tape. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this NYC bronzer in the shade Sunny and I'm taking this LAB Just Blending Brush from Walmart. I'm obsessed with this brush. It's like just a traditional fluffy blending brush and I'm going to take that bronzer and just buff that right into the crease all over my lid and above my brows. I love to do this just because it really really honestly helps to blend out the other colors that you're going to be using especially when working with color I think it's really important to always use a transition color and if you don't have an eyeshadow this color just take a bronzer and it works just as good so today I'm going to be using my wet n wild comfort zone palette which I am obsessed with and the first shade I'm going to be taking is that green color which is gorgeous and I'm taking this flat shader brush from RC cosmetics and I'm also going to be spraying that with my Mario Badescu facial spray. You don't have to do this, honestly, because the eyeshadows are very pigmented on their own. But you guys know if you watch my makeup tutorials, I really love doing this because it makes the lids pop. And I love when eyeshadow has like that wet foiled look. It just looks really pretty. So this shade is so gorgeous and I think it's very wearable because it's not a traditional emerald green color. It's almost like a yellowy green which is why I love it so much. So I'm just going to build this up until I get the desired intensity that I'm looking for and I'm just going to focus this on my lid and I'm not going to go above my crease or to my crease at all. I just want this to be the main lid color. These eyeshadows are honestly amazing. Like The quality of these is like up there with MAC or Urban Decay so I highly recommend Wet and Wild Shadows, if you have not tried them already, you are missing out. So then I'm going back into the bronzer and that same blending brush from earlier, and I'm just going to blend out the green a little bit, just because I don't want any harsh, choppy lines, because that is not cute. So then I'm going to take that darker green black color almost and I'm using the Studio Tools blending brush that I got from Target. I'm just going to be lightly putting that into the crease and I'm just adding a little bit of product as I go just until I get the darkness that I'm looking for. I don't want to add too much darkness because I do want the green to be the main focus of the look today. So as you can see I'm kind of just dusting it in very lightly on the tip of the brush and I'm going very light handed with it because like I said these eyeshadows are so pigmented it's insane so just go very light-handed with it and then just build it up as you go if you're ever working with wet and wild shadows then I'm taking this elf blending brush it's just like a little fluffy brush it's from their dollar line and I'm just gonna take that brow bone shade and highlight my brow bone of course I love this color and I never skip this step because it really just brings everything together Next, I'm removing my tape, and I did already go ahead and do my winged liner off camera. Can you guys guess what I used? Let me know down below if you can guess. So then I'm going in with my Kiss Lashes in the style number 11. I got these from Walmart in a five-pack and it was like $9. It's like such a steal. And I have recently fell in love with these lashes because they're so full and fluffy and they're very dark, which I love because I feel like the Demi Wispies are amazing, but they're not as dark as these, which I love. So I just usually take the back of the tweezers and kind of just fluff them up and you can really see the difference between no lashes and lashes. So a lot of people always ask me why I do my eye makeup before my face and it's because I tend to always get fallout on my face and I hate whenever I do my foundation and I get eyeshadow on it because it just messes everything up so that's why I always like to do the eyes first and then the face and then I just take some baby wipes and just wipe away any fallout or any like gunk on my face and then just to give it a nice base for my foundation so today I'm using the Monistat Chafing Relief Powder Gel I cannot put this down I love this primer it's amazing and it just really smooths out my skin and gives me a really nice canvas to work 
work with. So today I'm taking the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush, and this is an amazing foundation brush, and I'm gonna be using my Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation in the shade 203 True Beige. I feel like this foundation doesn't get enough hype. It's so beautiful, and it's a medium to full coverage foundation, and if you have oily skin, this is gonna be amazing on you. Next, I'm taking my Maybelline Superstay Concealer. This one's in the shade Light, I believe, and I'm just gonna use this to conceal and highlight, as always, all the usual places where I normally highlight. And I'm taking this e.l.f. Small Stippling Brush to blend that out. I love this brush. You can use it for a lot of different things, and I love how small it is because you can really get in the small areas of your face to blend out any concealer or foundation. And this brush is also really amazing for cream contouring as well. So then to set that concealer, I'm using the Revlon Color Stay Powder in the shade Light. And I'm just going to use this e.l.f. blush brush. I'm sorry I forgot to show it, but I do show it in the next couple clips because I'm using another one, which is the same blush brush, but it's a different one. <laughs> You'll see in a minute. But anyways, I'm just going to be setting my concealer. And I love this brush because, like I said, it has so many different purposes. And it's small and it's super soft. Next, I'm taking another e.l.f. blush brush. Okay, get it together. This is the complexion brush, and I'm going to be using my NYC bronzer in Sunny just to bronze my skin. I'm not going to contour or sculpt out my cheeks or anything like that. I'm just going to add some color. I really feel like the bronzer just gives my face life. Like, I love bronzer. I cannot live without it. And then for blush, I'm using Luminoso by Milani, and I'm taking this Real Techniques blush brush and just applying that right to the apples of my cheeks. You can get Real Techniques at Kohl's and Ulta. Also, Walmart. Can't forget Walmart. <laughs> Then I'm taking my e.l.f. blush brush. This is the brush that I used earlier, but I have like three of them. And I'm going to be taking the e.l.f. golden bronzer. I'm going to be mixing that light shade with that pinky shade. And I love this highlighter because you can use it as a bronzer or like I'm doing right here as a highlighter. And it gives you a really light highlight. It's not anything too intense like a Becca highlighter, but it's just a very light wash of highlight. <laughs> Then moving back onto the eyes, I'm going to be taking those two shades from the Comfort Zone palette and I'm using this e.l.f. contour brush to smudge that underneath my lower lashes. And then I'm taking that e.l.f. fluffy brush from earlier and I'm going to take that brow bone color and highlight the inner corner of my eye just to open everything up. Next, I'm taking this NYX Glide On Pencil. I believe it's in the shade Copper. It's a gorgeous copper shade, and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It's so creamy, and it glides on the waterline amazingly. Then for lips, I'm using this Essence Lipstick in the shade Oh So Matte. I got this from Ulta, and it was like $2, and this is an amazing nude lipstick. It's so creamy, and the color is perfect. And then to top that off, I'm using this Milani Lip Gloss in the shade bare secret which is super creamy and this is like a dupe for the mac lip glasses except they're not as sticky so that completes this makeup look i hope you guys liked it let me know what you think of it down below and if you guys recreate any of my makeup looks be sure to send them to me on twitter or instagram or even snapchat i would love to see so don't forget to follow me and subscribe for more videos in the future i love you guys and i'll see you soon take care bye